Greetings, friends. My name is Brett Ballinger. I serve as the pastor to the people of Prince of Peace Lutheran Church, Marlton, New Jersey. Today is Wednesday, May 6th, 2020. And during our Wednesday messages throughout this COVID-19 pandemic, I have been offering various practices and uh, some reflections about some of the things that we may be experiencing during this time. And so I wanted to recall and remind you of the practices that we've already begun, uh, that we've already encouraged from practices of embracing gratitude, loving kindness practice, forgiveness practice, embracing our fear, and so varieties of practices that we have done, some breathing practices throughout this period of time. And so I wanted to remind us that we have a variety of tools already in place to help us during this time. So if you want to go back and uh, listen to some of the um, previous videos and how I've walked you through those things, um, please do. I invite you to... Uh, uh, to remind yourself and to take them up, not just as a one-time thing, but as a, a regular practice. Perhaps you'll do forgiveness practice every day for a year. <laughs> or uh, forgiveness practice one week and gratitude practice the next. Or forgiveness practice on Mondays and gratitude on Tuesdays. Embracing fear on Wednesdays. Whatever you see, pick up the right tool for the task at hand really what uh, spiritual practices are. It's like a toolbox. We use this uh, expression often in our uh, Sunday school class, um, our discipleship practice class, uh, that all of these things are like a toolbox. And so sometimes you need this particular practice and other times you need another. It's like sometimes you need a hammer and sometimes you need a screwdriver. So today I wanted to um, introduce you and to the practice of holding others in the hollow of our hands. It's really a prayer and body practice. Uh, and so the hollow, the hollow of our hand, this spot here, you know, and, and when we think about it, we, we can hold some grain here or salt or sugar and can only hold so much, right? Um, and uh, kind of as a reminder that Right now, I can only do so much. You know, I can hold this much at this moment in prayer. And then I can come back and do again later. But trying to hold all of it at once sometimes is, is just way too much. So here's a practice to hold uh, a couple people. A couple people uh, in the hollow of our hand for a moment. So sit comfortably. And... Uh, Place your palms either on the table or on your knees, uh, on your lap, in this fashion, like this, and um, call to mind and heart the people with whom you have spoken this day. And perhaps as you do it, you can do that by counting or just marking them with your fingers. Marvin, Elizabeth, Guy, Laura, Lauren. You know, so just mark them quietly. And make sure your body's relaxed as you do it. Just add a tiny little pressure with each finger. And then say, I thank you, God for all those with whom I share the days of my life. Mark those and call to heart and mind those whom you have spoken with today. I thank you, God, 
for those with whom I share the days of my life. Then, turn your hand over and look at your unique fingertips. I might need to bring it closer, see closely. <laughs> but look at your hand and bring to heart and mind the different people who have left their gentle marks upon you this day. You could touch each one this way as you call them to heart and mind. Marvin, Elizabeth, Guy, Laura, Lauren. Those who have left their gentle mark upon you this day And say, I thank you, God, for all those who have been touched and encouraged me today. I thank you, God, for all those who have touched and encouraged me today. Then with one hand, fold in your thumb and then each finger gently around your thumb as if you're wrapping your thumb up. And you're doing this as you think of people who are in particular need of God's touch today. Maybe even including yourself. Those who are in need of God's touch for healing, courage, hope, and love. And then perhaps say silently or aloud, softly, each person's name. Ray, may, you may God's healing, courage, hope, and love surround you. And be aware of God's mothering love holding them. As a mother bird, takes her chicks under her wing. So keep it light in your hand. Then perhaps open, and maybe there's another that you wish. The Pfeiffer family. May God's healing, courage, hope, and love surround you. Be aware of God's mothering love holding them as a mother would take her chicks under her wing. And then maybe do this for maybe one or two more people, not a whole lot, right? For Kathy, may God's healing, courage, Hope and love surround you and your family. Being aware of God's mothering love surrounding her and her family. And then finally place your other hand underneath. And offer this blessing for all you have remembered today before God all those with whom you have spoken, all those who have left a gentle touch, and all those who you've asked for God's love to be wrapped and surrounded them with. And offer this blessing. May the God of all hold in the hollow of your hand all those today for whom we have prayed and given thanks. God of all, hold in the hollow of your hand all those today for whom we have prayed and given thanks. And remain in 
silent gratitude. Amen.